Now, if you're pretty new to Reason, you shouldn't have too much trouble in grasping the basic concept of the Dr. Octorex and what the instrument's all about. As we've discussed, it's a loop playback tool and it's capable of mangling and synthesizing your grooves. But one thing you may have a little trouble in grasping is the file format that it uses, and you may not have seen it before. The .rx2 or rex file format is a proprietary format designed by propeller heads themselves. And each of these files contains slices and MIDI information. So not only will it stay in time with your project, but you can actually move these slices around and rearrange them using MIDI. MIDI files can also be generated so you can see them in any other DAW as well as in Propellerhead's own sequencer. This format gives us a massive amount of freedom and really allows us to comb in on particular slices in our loop. Now don't worry too much about how these are made because if you're a beginner you can grab these from the Reason library or pretty much any sample library available today. They're really common and you'll see them all over the place. But if you want to get a little bit more into making your own Rex files and, you know, really editing, you're going to need a program called Recycle. Now, of course, I'm not going to get too far into Recycle because this is really a tutorial in itself. But Recycle enables you to create your own Rex files and move the grooves around according to transient, change the tempo, tell the program how many bars are in your loop and give you exact control over every area of it. Once you're finished, you can save it, and this can be loaded into the Dr. Octorex. In fact, you can load it into any DOW, well, most of the major DAWs, and the qualities of the loop will remain intact, and it should change nicely in time with your project BPM. So for now, we're going to stick with the Rex files in the actual Reason library, and there are plenty of them. So if we click on this area down here, we can see that there's a huge choice from power pop, acoustic, and there's Rex drum loops, huge folders of them. And there's also even instrument loops. So there's guitar loops, scratch loops, and hip hop loops that we can mess around with when we're just starting out with the instrument. In the next section, we're gonna be taking a closer look at some of these files, and I'll show you the difference between percussive and instrumental loops and how we can use them in our projects.